Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Sagittarius. How are you guys? Hope you're all well. You can see I have the sun card and the love card here. So focusing on a new love connections, new love prospects, any choices in love for Sagittarius. Does Sagittarius need to know regarding new love prospects and connections? Who's interested in you, Sagittarius? Who's interested in you? interested in you oops there we go Ooh, queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio or someone who is looking for love <laughs> who's interested in you sag beautiful this is someone at a crossroads okay making a choice you may have a choice between two people as well but this is a crossroads oh yeah so there is definitely something ending Okay, I see something new beginning. With every ending comes a new beginning. So some of you <clears throat> may be choosing another path, okay, ending a situation with one person. Yeah, there's someone here you're not too interested in, okay. Yeah, so I do feel there's some kind of rejection, okay. Uh, a cycle is ending, a new cycle beginning. Things are going to start moving in your favor here. I do see a Scorpio energy. Okay, so there's something here. This is an energy of, you know, someone who's just not sure or they're not sure something is good enough, but you have a new person. So regardless, I feel like there's just someone who you're not interested in. Okay, or vice versa. Take it as it resonates. But there's this new energy. Uh, so uh, there you are, Sad. Tempering your passions, your emotions. Okay, kind of pulling back, seeing things differently here. You're ready for something different, someone different than your usual type. Lovely, yeah. It's an energy of taking action, having a good time. There is a few obstacles to overcome, definitely. Ooh, yeah. Looks like you're taking action here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Something is definitely finished. This crossroads, this path, this choice. Okay. Someone here, something isn't good enough. It's not what you want. The offer is not good enough. Cycle over. New. <laughs> Yeah, you have a new person here. So this could be yourself, all right? Throwing your hands up, making a decision to end something. Uh, but I do feel there's someone here who is uh, looking at you different. You have an offer, okay? It could be yourself giving that offer to another person, taking action. It's about fighting for what you want, overcoming obstacles. There may be competition. <laughs> uh, but I see that seed being planted. So let's see what's going on with this Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, you know what you want. You're not settling. A little bit of a crossroad. So I do feel like something is over. You're changing your focus. There you are. Yeah, you've got, there's definitely that energy of changing your focus. Someone isn't giving you the attention you want. So it's, you're finishing something off. A cycle is over. Yeah, you didn't get something you wanted. Okay, someone offered you one cup, nothing more. It's not good enough. Wow. Wow. Yeah, there's that communication. Yeah, you're looking at it. It's yeah, it's just not going in your favor. It's not what you want. It's just not what you want. It's all in the details of this communication. So I do think things are about to go in your favor, though, because you have a new person. They could have Sag in their chart as well. But this is that tempering your passions, your emotions, just I feel just chilling out a little bit. Yeah, watch your temper. <laughs> Yeah, but I do feel it's something positive. Yeah, there's some kind of change. So interesting enough, yeah, transformation. Some of you are ready for change. You're ready to try something different, okay? A different kind of person. You want some, and this is an energy of you want someone who's invested. Yeah, you're no longer invested in the past. Uh, somebody here is waiting for the right opportunity to offer you this. Um, this is a communication. It's an offer to go out. It could be to go and have a good time. We'll see what that's all about. But yeah, you're you're finished with the past here. You're ready for change. I love this because this is where you make up your mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's that new, beautiful temperance. Yeah, trusting your intuition. All right, being very wise. You have all the answers within yourself, and it's telling you try something different, a different type of person. Okay. Yeah. A little Pisces energy. It could be yourself. You may have Pisces in your chart. Possibly Scorpio. 
Well, Cancer. Tell me about this Five of Wands. Yeah, so there's definitely an energy of walking away. Your intuition is telling you to let something go, leaving obstacles, challenges behind, moving towards something new. Someone's headed your way. Uh, you've got a soulmate connection ahead of you here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, so it's very strong. This is a very strong offer. Uh, someone's gaining the strength and the confidence to uh, reach out. Very nice. Someone's been waiting for the right time to invest. Maybe they're waiting for you to end a situation with another person. But that's a crossroads. This is a path in life. You're choosing a new path. Okay. And that's what's going to make things go in your favor. You are going to get something you want here. Uh, it's just about investing, waiting patiently <laughs> for this new. So there it is. A very strong offer. Someone's gaining the confidence. I see a Leo possibly. I see some Scorpio energy. Really could be anybody. Definitely some fiery energy. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Who is this new person? Yeah, I see things speeding up. Ooh, nice. Some kind of communication, passion, and fire. Somebody is Something is coming quickly out of the blue. It's probably going to come when you least expect it, uh, where you just connect with someone. Where are you going to do this? Let's see. Where is this? Oops, there we go. Oh, yeah, I see emotional fulfillment. Oh, my goodness. Some of you, you know, there you are, single, feeling really good. You're kind of in a happy place right now, but I think things are speeding up. I see communication. Somebody wants to know if you're single. Uh, if they find out you are, they're going to be absolutely ecstatic, okay, to find out that you're single. You are looking out for yourself, taking care of yourself. You're getting a heads up to prepare. So this is what you're doing is you're preparing for new, maybe getting some new clothes, a new hairdo, getting your nails done. Yeah, because this is coming in fast. Things are speeding up here. You can probably feel it coming. Okay, temper your passions, be patient, okay? Sort of an energy of pulling back to and looking at what you want. Now's the time to decide what it is you want because this person's headed in your direction. You're definitely done with this past energy. Uh, there was a lack of emotional fulfillment. Yeah, see, somebody wasn't treating you right or they just weren't right for you. Uh, but I do feel like someone is coming in right. I see Libra. Leo energy. You do see a little earth here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly. Lovely. Tell me about this offer, this seed that is being planted. Yes, there it is. Oh, yeah, you're ready to go down the path. This is someone much more compatible, uh, I feel, but this is someone who is a little different than your usual type. So if you have a type that's telling you to look at that, maybe they are your usual type or just your type. It could go that way as well. But this is someone who fights for what they want. And they're coming towards you, coming in very with a very strong offer. Someone who is willing to cooperate and compromise or something compatible. There's also this energy of the two of you having something in common. So really nice energy. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. There we go. Yeah. So there is some kind of movement here. Someone's making a move. This is a strong move too. This is someone who goes after what they want. That's what you want. Someone who comes in right. Someone who knows what they want. So that's what you're getting. Oh, yeah. You've got there they are. This is what you've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah. The ship has sailed with someone from the past. And whatever that energy is, whatever this person, whoever they were, they didn't give you, they weren't offering you what you wanted, you see. So you're looking at it. But you have this new connection. There's some kind of change or transformation. So beautiful. Yeah, you've got someone who knows what they want. They're coming towards you just right. This is someone who fits. Okay, you're going to pull back. You're going to look at this, make sure they fit. But you have things in common. They're compatible. Uh, this is an energy of two people who build each other up. So lovely energy. Yeah, lovely. You're building something on this new path. This person's making a power play, okay? Uh, they're making the move. And that's what you've been waiting for is for them to make a move. And they are. So nice, yeah. So someone very much in control, see? Very much in control. So this is an energy of someone coming in quick out of the blue, taking control of the situation because they're coming in to fight for what they want. <laughs> you want someone who does that, that fights for what they want because then you know that they know what they want, right? That's what I'm seeing. So lovely energy, Sag. Yeah, you have a new whole new cycle beginning. You're going to get some kind of wish fulfillment. I don't think you're going to see it coming. Uh, I actually feel, yeah, there's a little energy of focusing on this past a bit where you didn't get what you wanted. That's what's going to happen. That ending, that crossroads energy is over. This is a choice. So, yeah, I don't think you're going to see it coming.
Now you're no longer, there's that energy, no longer sacrificing, giving all your, putting all your passion, energy, your love and attention towards somebody who isn't offering you what you want. So I do feel like there's that uh, energy that's a self-sacrificing energy queen of cups why sacrifice yourself for someone else by wasting your time you're no longer doing that energy so yeah you see this is where you kind of drink your own tears you sacrifice uh, for somebody you know you give them what they want and they don't give you anything in return and this is why you have this person this new offer that's coming towards you see how that filled in all by itself spirit knows tell me about the sun yeah, you have somebody here. Yeah, you got a choice between two, uh, I feel. But there's someone here who's doing a lot of thinking about taking action. I see a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone's financially stable. So someone who's single. Uh, I feel there are there is someone here, I feel, who just wants to be single too. They don't want to give you anything. And that's uh, something that's being exposed. So someone here wants to know if you are, though. You have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, really could be anyone. I feel this is very much an energy read. Someone's doing a lot of thinking about expressing their feelings and starting something. So whoever it is, is financially stable. Uh, they are single, yeah. So there's some, someone's thinking about marriage and commitment. This is how someone conducts themselves, financially stable, uh, someone who's independent, someone who has everything they need. But you know what they don't have is they don't have you. Uh, so you got someone, oh yeah, there you are. Yeah, you're speaking your truth. You're cutting somebody out here. I feel sad. You're speaking up. You know what you want. You're not settling. I think you're going to kind of tell somebody off a little bit. Be kind and compassionate though. Someone asks you if you're single, you're going to say yes. Be honest up front. Stay in your, uh, in that energy. This is where everything is becoming exposed between two people through this communication, you see. Uh, this is a traditional kind of energy this is somebody here who this is how they conduct themselves stable practical reliable focused on their money okay so somebody with uh, you want someone on the same page uh, you have someone here who is not someone here wants to stay single they just want to offer you you know what they want they don't want to give much and that's why you're making this choice to cut someone out you're moving towards another person someone who knows what they want someone who's very clear there's clear communication so you're clearing someone out here yeah you're going to make yourself perfectly clear as well yeah you're putting something behind here you're moving towards something much more successful yeah you put a lot of work into something and you're not getting anything back here and that's what i feel where you make that decision so interesting enough tell me about this love yeah you've got this person coming in taking control <laughs> Very nice. Oh, yeah, there's that feeling here. Whew. You're going to offer your cup to this person. Remember that energy, okay, about sacrificing everything you've worked for, for somebody who doesn't give you anything, okay? This is that energy, passive-aggressive kind of energy, okay, where you're, you, know, you want love, so you give somebody all your love, and they don't give you anything. So you're sacrificing. Do not sacrifice everything you've worked for, okay? Make sure somebody comes in and shows you uh, that they want you for all the right reasons. So, yeah, I think you're going to offer this person that cup. Uh, but if I'm going to tell you, though, like, be a little cautious with that. It is it is solid. Is it someone compatible? Uh, I feel there is this movement. Somebody is making a move, you see? Coming in very quick out of the blue. This is before you offer your cup to someone else. <laughs> it's a power play. Yeah, very nice energy. Yeah, this is the person who's coming in new. Yeah, so this is someone who's expressing themselves. They want to start something with you. You're focused on the new. You're no longer focused on past. You're going to let someone know. Yeah. So I kind of feel like this other person who's offering you nothing. Um, they have nothing. They don't want to give you anything. Uh, and this is where you go through that change. You start to change your mind. And that's that energy of a cycle ending and things starting to move in your favor because you're putting that whatever this is behind. And that's that energy of being self-sacrificing. Okay. Fo keep focusing on yourself. Don't lose focus on yourself. Okay. Because it takes two people to build something. And that's that cooperation, compatibility. So I do see new here. Beautiful energy. You've got a choice to make, I feel. Mm -hmm. Lovely energy. 
So somebody here is coming in to take control. Do not let someone control you. Keep your emotions in check. Don't let your emotions rule you. Okay, that's a message for yourself as well because of that Queen of Cups. That's not offering yourself on a platter. Don't do it. Okay, stay focused on yourself. Keep yourself balanced. Uh, you have to do what's right for yourself as well. If you've been working hard, working on yourself, focusing on money, you see that change of focus is what's going to bring this uh, end of a cycle and things start going in your favor. And that's how you get things going in your favor. So control your emotions. Do not let them control you. Yeah, you've got someone who is very attractive, someone very passionate, very creative. Make sure this person comes in tempered, that they're mature. They're not just focused on that physical connection. These are all the things that you're going to look at that are going to be exposed. But yeah, you have this beautiful passion at New Beginning. Yeah, I do think you are keeping your emotions in check. You're not letting them control you. No, you're not losing control. Um, yeah, you've got a person who's definitely right behind you fighting for what they want, you know. So I do see this is going to take a lot of work. It takes two people to build. Somebody wants to build something with you. And that's what you want. What you always wanted is something you're going to get. As someone you can count on and rely on with that Ten of Pentacles, stability, safety, security. Okay, it takes two to build that, two people to look out for each other's best interests. So this is someone quite sexy, attractive, vice versa. Yeah, a lot of passion, a lot of creativity. You both have that energy, Sag. So they could have Sag in their chart too. It almost looks like they may, but it could be, I do see Scorpio here as well, or it could be yourself. Uh, but regardless, I do see Leo as well. Uh, but I see you definitely moving towards something more stable, two people building something, working together. Very nice. And this is where you um, uh, you learn about what works and what doesn't work. You know, you look back at all this hard work. You're ready to move towards something successful. So if you have this person who um, either rejected you or they, they just they weren't offering you what you wanted. It wasn't good enough. Um, they may try to come back around, but I don't think you're going to go for it. I see you moving forward towards this new person. So I don't know where you're going to meet this person. I do see a place where people congregate. It could be at a sporting event. It could be out dancing, a restaurant, shopping. Okay, it could be even in the workplace. This could be somebody that you worked with at some point. Uh, but I do see the workplace, place where people spend money, where they congregate, someplace social, safe, secure, financially stable. So yeah, this person is going to come in and get this going here. Uh, yeah, and I do think this other person here, it's a snooze you lose kind of energy. I got to, uh, you know, I just feel like this. Yeah, this is the person who's going to come towards you and offer you one little cup. That's why I say snooze you lose. Someone held back, you know, they weren't, they offered you one little sippy cup. They didn't offer you any more. And it's the way they conduct themselves. This is someone who really, I feel you don't have a lot of faith in. And this is why you're freeing yourself. You're moving, you're moving away to avoid a disaster. You have somebody coming towards you who wants to get to know you, someone who'll give you attention. It's the attention you deserve, you know. Uh, I see you being, uh, having a lot more success in the future. Uh, two people moving together, growing closer. So take a little bit of time. That's also that energy of taking a little bit of time to get to know this person before you, you know, seal the deal and make any uh, energy to commit okay be committed to yourself first look out for yourself and number one there it is number one yeah see make sure you don't have this is that person they rush in and rush out when they want attention this is somebody who you know you want somebody who sticks around you want the one so watch that in this is yourself too don't rush into something okay uh, not eight of wands, nine or nine of wands, ten of wands. Yeah. So the burden is being lifted. You're letting somebody go. Uh, this is you taking responsibility for yourself. You want a responsible, reliable partner, no longer repeating mistakes of the past. So you have a lot more abundance flowing towards you. So I just wanted to clear that up because I could see these lessons spirit trying to tell you don't offer all yourself to someone. Okay. No, don't don't be that this is a martyr energy right this is what the queen of cups does is uh, offers up you start loving and nurturing and caring for someone but they're not giving you what you need and that's where you're realizing it okay yeah you got something much better you're moving away to avoid a disaster beautiful yeah you've got this okay you have this you've got this i believe in the pan here okay absolutely so i'm gonna grab some charms 
you really have learned, I feel, you know, right? It's all watching how someone conducts themselves, how they behave. You want someone on the same page. Uh, you've got someone here who's just, you're never going to get on the same page with them because they just want to stay single. They want to keep everything they worked for to themselves. So here is some charms. Or actually, I should probably pick these out in front of the camera. I do that. All right. Whoops. I have a couple here. So I see the tree of life. I see the wheel of fortune. I see a bicycle. I see message and communication and a star. So you are going to get something you want. Things are starting to move in your favor. You know this, as soon as I pull this out, it, it's sort of like that's life. That's what I feel. Uh, the tree of life. You're at a crossroads in your life. It's now time for things to go in your favor. That old cycle is finished. Uh, things are moving forward. I love this. <laughs> Yeah, you got this. You know exactly what you need to do here. And I feel it's tempering that need uh, to offer all yourself to someone to love and nurture and care for them because you, this is your intuition going to tell you your inner wisdom. Uh, and I do think you are going to um, trust your intuition about this person. This is somebody who's tempering their passions, their patient. So I see a D, a C, an F, and a U. So interesting, that U comes out. Okay. Yeah, you got a choice to make here. So the, give it a chance to play out. You may not be aware of this new person. It may not have happened yet. Uh, when it does happen, you will know. Okay, and don't be afraid to speak up. I'm pulling out three more. B, A, and G, because there's a lot of people involved here. So I can see two or three people, uh, three of you at least. So, yeah, your change of focus is to see that focusing on you, changing your focus away from this uh, person, right? You know what you want. You want someone who focuses on you in the right way. They're not focused on you. They're not giving you the attention you want. So and that's where you're going to come to this realization. And this could happen very quickly, too, because I do see an offer coming in, something solid. And that's where you're going to realize, wow, this person's giving me attention. They want to go out. They want to spend time. They're fighting for you right? They're ready. They're willing to overcome any obstacles or challenges because they're that interested. That's where you're going to look at the details and realize uh, what you were missing with this other person. So very nice energy. You guys take care of yourselves. I wish you the best. Stay focused on the positive, okay? So just do you if you're at the stage of doing you, okay? Make sure someone gives you. There's reciprocity. If someone doesn't reciprocate, you know, then don't put any effort into it. Don't do anything. Love yourself first. Okay. Take care and bye for now.